So first and some minor but still important news The Baltimore Ravens have all of their draft picks under contract So they have officially wrapped up signing their entire 2024 rookie draft class So that is a beautiful thing because it's out the way So when OTAs are here, when mini camp is here, when training camp is here Everybody can participate You ain't got to worry about Oh well this guy didn't sign a contract yet So he's not going to participate He'll be in the building But he's not going to partake in any of the team activity No 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 We ain't even got to have those conversations That potential drama is gone Now I thought when the Baltimore Ravens first announced it I thought they may have been the first team that did that And I even asked Jeff Zrebik But he said no they weren't the first He said he think it might have been the Panthers Or the Raiders or somebody else But the Baltimore Ravens were not the first And I said ah, that's okay But as long as it's done And that's a wrap but somebody that was a rookie a couple years ago and has made a heavy impact on this Baltimore Ravens team. And you can argue, and I don't think many people are going to give you much pushback, that he is the Baltimore Ravens' best defensive player. And that is Kyle Hamilton. After this season, Kyle Hamilton is eligible for a new Contract And Baltimore Ravens may take their time. They could. They could be like, oh, you know, we're going to put a little pause on it. We're going to do the fifth-year option, and we're going to extend this as much as we possibly can. We'll see. But he is eligible after this upcoming season. It's crazy how fast time flies, right? We were just like, man, Kyle Hamilton, we were just having conversations. How did Kyle Hamilton drop to pick number 14? How did he drop so low? And this is rookie year, and now, boom, we already going into his third year, and he is such an amazing player. One of the best safeties in the league. But when you got one of the best players in the league, you got to pay them. Well, you don't necessarily have to, but if you want to keep that player, you want to retain that player, you want that player to stay on your football team, on your franchise, you got to shelf out some money. And Kyle Hamilton by no means will be cheap at all. And we got a little tiny bit of a preview to what his contract could possibly look like obviously by the time this rolls around more safeties will get paid but Kyle Hamilton he got to be sitting back and just sitting there with a big smile on his face like oh yeah it's on the way now speaking of smiles on faces something that could put a smile on all of our faces is if you subscribe to the channel you turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single video because if you miss something I don't want you sending me no DM like, oh man, I didn't even know you posted a video on that. Then you'll have a frown on your face. So to keep a smile, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and leave a like on the video because it helps out this channel, it helps out your algorithm, it helps out YouTube a ton. I love y'all, and we love Kyle Hamilton. We love how he plays. He is just amazing because he literally can do any and everything. You can probably put him on offense too, and he'll go show out there as well. But with Kyle Hamilton, he got to be sitting back with a big smile on his face like, oh yeah, I'm about to cash in. And that could make this upcoming season for him even better because he's already been balling. But, you know, when you've already been doing a good job or something, oh, excuse me, my apologies. When you've already been doing a great job or something, and then you see that the great job that you've been doing, uh, it, can be, it can impact your financials. It, it can increase your cash flow. It can really get you a nice chunk of change. You could tell Ravens, cut the check. Oh, man. That might take you to a whole another level. And that boy, <laughs> that boy is super duper Kyle. Hey, man, y'all already know he's the truth. But uh, Antoine Winfield Jr., he got a deal uh, from a team that we're going to be going up against this year, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's read the report. It says, the Bucks and all pro safety Antoine Winfield Jr. have struck a deal. And for the first time in NFL history, the highest paid defensive back is a safety because we don't seen corners get it i remember when when hundred million dollar cornerbacks started becoming a thing it's like oh okay they making some bread but now when you got a safety being the highest paid db in the nfl because defensive backs are both safeties and cornerbacks uh but when you got a safety being the highest paid defensive back in the league oh yeah you know kyle hamilton like oh yeah it's my time soon soon not yet soon Winfield gets a four-year contract worth 84.1 million dollars with 45 million dollars fully guaranteed in a deal done by David uh, Mulligetta of Athletes First so 84.1 million dollars let's break down that math and that's a four-year deal so he is getting paid a little over 21 million dollars per year 
Kyle Hamilton is looking at that like, oh, Eric DaCosta, look, you, 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 you see that? You see what Antoine Winfield Jr. got? Double it. Double it. Well, maybe not double, but Kyle Hamilton's going to get paid. Now, when is he going to get paid? I think that's the biggest question that us as Ravens fans have. Well, we'll have when that time comes after this season. When are the Ravens going to shelf out the money for Kyle Hamilton? Well, there's a lot of factors that could come into play when it comes to that. One, um, they could do it right away, like right as soon as he's eligible, uh, because the longer you take to do it, I mean, we saw with the Lamar Jackson contract, but the longer you take to do it, especially when you got a player that you know is like that, and Kyle Hamilton is like that, the longer you take to get a deal done, the higher that salary increases every single year, every single season, every single game. That, that the rate increases, it goes up like crazy. And we see what Kyle Hamilton has done in the first two years. We, we got no reason to not expect him to continue to ascend to be even better because he'll be another year smarter. He'll have another year's worth of experience in the league. So why wouldn't he get even better? And even if he just stays where he's at, he'd still be a great player. So... Kyle Hamilton is, is in such a great situation, but will the Ravens be like, all right, you're eligible, we'll pay you right now, or will they push it out a bit? Because they do have options. Obviously, they're going to pick up that fifth-year option. Like, the way this thing's been going, that fifth-year option is definitely going to get picked up. When the time, it ain't going to be no question in my mind that they pick up that fifth-year option. Um, or they could decline it and then just sign it to an extension. They, they got options with how they could do this thing. But something else that plays a factor that's very important is that the Baltimore Ravens, he wasn't the only first round draft pick a couple of years ago for them. And he wasn't the only first round draft pick a couple of years ago for the Baltimore Ravens to play well, to be an amazing player and a huge impact player for the Ravens because the other one that they drafted in the first round with Kyle Hamilton, with Super Duper Kyle, was our guy Linda Flinder, our guy Tyler Linderbaum. And that boy is a baller, man. Straight up. I remember when they first drafted him, I was so happy because I felt like the Baltimore Ravens, they needed a center. And they needed somebody who was a true center. Somebody who had been a center throughout their collegiate career. Maybe back in high school too, but certainly in their collegiate career. somebody Not somebody who they can play center, but they play left guard. They play left tackle. No, no, no. I wanted somebody who was a true center. And they got Linda Flinder. And that man has been balling. Ever since, ever since, he has been amazing for the Baltimore Ravens, and he gives them exactly what they need. You don't be seeing no crazy high snaps. You don't see the ball going over Lamar Jackson's head like we have seen so many times from different centers. Some were true centers. Some were guys that had moved around on the offensive line, but we don't see that hardly at all anymore. Those snaps be on point. The blocking is excellent, and Tyler Linderbaum is an amazing player. But since he's also been so good, on the offensive side of the ball, what do you do? You got Kyle Hamilton. You got Tyler Linderbaum. And then, of course, you're going to have other people do for contracts and stuff next year as well. But that could make their decision that much tougher. But one thing that I do appreciate, I certainly appreciate, there, of course, are a million ways to get it done. But this is a great problem for the Baltimore Ravens to have. Because when you have the issue like, man, all right, how, not even how, because they can figure out how, but when are we going to pay this player? When are we going to pay that player? How are we going to take care of that? How are we going to fix that? How are we going to fit that in? What, what, what are we going to do? That means that you have the players that are worth even having a conversation for. Because there have been players that have come and gone where it's like, oh, you don't even have the conversation about, oh, when are the Ravens going to pay him? How are the Ravens going to pay him? Are the Ravens gonna, what, are, what are they going to do with that? There's some players that you don't even have that conversation about. But for these two, Kyle Hamilton and Tyler Linderbaum, they are both in excellent situations. And you know, like, they are both definitely on the road to get that second contract. And, and hopefully they both come. I expect both to get the second contract from uh, the Baltimore Ravens, for sure. At, like, the, I know it's only been two years, but still, both of them have been vital, critical pieces to the Baltimore Ravens offense and defense. And they are definitely both worth it. Whatever the Ravens about to pay them, they will be worth it and more. 
like straight up but how, how they been so we'll see exactly how Eric DaCosta works this but I guarantee you it'll get worked out with both of them for sure because they are both highly deserving of getting paid